Thank you for joining us. I'm David Wade with this WBZ News update. Our top stories with the owner facing attempted murder charges. A North End restaurant is now shut down. Patrick Mendoza owns Monica's Trattoria. He's in custody, accused of shooting at someone outside of Modern Pastry on Hanover Street. He's pleaded not guilty, but the licensing board has suspended the restaurant's license to serve liquor and food until the restaurant names a new manager. Boston City Councilor Tanya Fernandez Anderson will pay a $5,000 fine after she hired family members violating the conflict of interest law. In a tweet, the councilor wrote, I messed up and should have paid attention to those training videos. I was a rookie. Nonetheless, it was negligent. Fernandez Anderson gave jobs to her sister and her son, but let them go in August of last year. Aggressive seagulls are forcing a Castle Island restaurant, an institution really, to remove its outdoor seating. If you visit Sullivan's on Castle Island, known for its fried food, you'll see the outdoor tables are taped off and a sign warns customers, beware of the seagulls. Let's get a check of the forecast now with Jacob Wyckoff. Jacob. David, we are tracking some showers moving through the area. Some of these could be strong to even severe. Still watching some instability through the southeastern coastline. So over the coming hours, we could be talking about some stronger storms. But at the moment, no watches or warnings out for our immediate viewing area. Behind this, we have drier air that spills in. That's the good news heading into Wednesday. Wednesday, ton of sunshine, nothing to worry about. Our temperatures will make a run for 90 degrees. Then we turn our attention to Thursday. Thursday, we have a chance for some showers and storms. You see this line as it blows through between about noon and 7 o'clock. We'll watch that strong to severe line, some of which some of those storms could actually feature a tornado or two. Showers come to an end tonight. We're back to partly cloudy skies tomorrow. Sunshine throughout the day back into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Highs, especially inland, will be some of the warmest, but even into the Cape and Islands, we'll see some nice warm temperatures. And that could be the start of what could be a four day heat wave Thursday, Friday and even into Saturday, cooling down into Sunday and Monday. David. All right, Jacob Wyckoff, thank you so much. I'm David Wade. This has been a WBZ News update. We thank you for watching. Have a great night.